It goes without saying that a brush with death can change your life. A car accident that left Greg Isles in a coma for a week led to several bestsellers. And his new book, Cemetery Road, is available now. We are excited to have Greg joining us live from Jackson, Mississippi. Good morning to you. Good morning. Great to be here. Well, you know, you've been called the William Faulkner of the Breaking Bad generation. How does that comparison feel to you? You know, uh, I almost blush when I hear that, but I mean, you can't complain about being compared <laughs> to William Faulkner, right? Especially if you're from Mississippi. Yes, for sure. And you know, you've had such an incredible journey. Uh, is that what led to you to start writing? No, you know, what led me to start writing, I think, was uh, I'd been a musician before and uh, I didn't want to get a real job when that came to an <laughs> end. But what you mentioned before about my car, my car wreck in the middle of the career, absolutely. I had had a number one book and I thought, you know, I'd achieved most of my dreams. I pulled out on the highway and someone hit me, ruptured my aorta, mm. took off my leg, broke 20-something bones. It's a similar experience to, uh, I play in a rock band with Stephen King. Steve had a very similar experience. and. Uh, when I woke up in the hospital from that, I just, I stopped caring about what the publisher thought about what I should write, what the people in my hometown thought I should write, and I just attacked race and family and secrets head on. And that's what resulted, I think, in a big jump in my career. Now, the characters in your books are known for having just incredible depth. Talk to us about the process of building those characters. Is it pretty time consuming? Yeah, but... It, You've all done the work that I do for this. Uh, you know, you, you, you're processing what you've learned in your life. You pay attention. You talk to everybody. And you're, you're making uh, sort of amalgams of people that you've known along with what you're trying to accomplish. And uh, the key is to be fearless. That's a hard thing to do. It's hard to show human beings in their um, full reality. You know, I write the kind of books... People often say, I write the kind of books where you need to wait for certain people to die before you can write the book, but I can't afford to wait for people to die, so but maybe that's where I get my debt. Hey, Greg, tell me a little bit about, um, about Cemetery Road. I'm an avid reader, and I'm going to go out and get this book. Tell us about it. Yeah, well, you know, I write, tend to write crime fiction and sometimes based cases on real life, but this book at its core it's about two men in love with the same woman. They're from the same town. One left when he was 18, went to Washington, D.C., and became a huge success, swore he would never go home. The other guy stayed home, joined the military. When he came back, he married the woman they both loved. And so when the guy in D.C. has to go back home and take care of his dying father, they all wind up in the same town. And uh, as you can guess, that's a recipe for, for trouble. Wow, sounds, I am very intrigued, I'm intrigued by this. All right, we have to know, we, we've got this current book, but what is next for you? Well, I'm working on about three different things, and I'm having some opportunities in TV as well. I've learned not to, not to say very much <laughs> until things are, are public, but uh, let's just say I'm busy, and I'm having fun, and, and writing is a great career. I know a lot of people out there want to do it, and I encourage you, you know, to try, because it's, it's a great thing to do. Well, we are so grateful that you took a few minutes to spend with us this morning. You can check out Cemetery Road wherever you like to buy your books. Congratulations.